Okay. Okay. Um, I'm a little bit upset right now with YouTube. Honestly. So, what's up everybody, it's KR086, and I, I'm a little bit annoyed right now. <clears throat> like, it makes me wonder if I even should continue pursuing the YouTube thing. I mean, technically, I'm not trying, well, I do kind of, sort of want to make some money from this, but, you know, I'm not, I'm not as pushy about it, or I'm not doing as much towards it i'm just trying to slowly do the thing and get views and get subscribers and all that jazz um because you know i always want to do it naturally and i also feel like you shouldn't just put all your ducks in the youtube bro however um when i see other youtubers who have some really good content um, of course I'm going to support them as much as I could, as much as I can, um, you know, granted with having, taking care of my own responsibilities. Right now, I'm more focused on getting my financial stuff in order <coughs> and actually putting a, a decent savings account, um, Oh, like I, I, I've been trying to follow some of what, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Justin Hammer has been, uh, constantly talking about. I mean, I already got all the, I got the game system that I wanted. I got the best, I got a good computer, um, decent mouse, obviously a good microphone and microphones for, uh, as a gift. And I got this camera that I have right here, and another, and my original camera, and a good lighting source for right now, to where I can, you know, make the videos that I kind of want to make, and you know, in my off time, whenever I'm not door dashing like crazy or at my actual job, you know. I, I take the time to try to put some more uh, effort into some of the videos that I'm making. That being said, there's a reason why I'm really upset with YouTube right now. Um, one of my favorite YouTubers, um, I've been watching their content for years now. Uh, at this point, it's been at least over five years. Maybe maybe even longer i don't know i know i was watching them for prior to 2020 prior to the whole COVID stuff going down here and there but one of my favorite youtubers uh mxr plays um has officially been banned from youtube it's their third strike and it's kind of hard to pay attention to that Given all, given all the the craziness that's going on with a lot of different YouTubers, um, heck, a lot of people in the entertainment business, come, uh, you know, things come to light that they're not nearly as kosher. I shouldn't say kosher. Not nearly as uh, good people as we initially thought. If we thought that in the first place, I mean, come on, the whole Drake stuff, after the whole Kendrick Lamar situation, uh, <clears throat> the current situation with Ava Chris Tyson and effectively Mr. Beast, um, plus uh, a lot of people giving out misinformation about certain other creators like Nexanor or um, Charlie. <laughs> Uh, you know, Moist Critical, Penguin Zero. Um, yeah, I mean, so many things are coming out right now. And somehow, I don't know how I didn't notice this. MXR Play is getting banned completely. 
was off my radar. I wasn't expecting this. I mean, yeah, they've had so many freaking copyright strikes. Uh, so many times where they thought their channel might get, uh, their channel has been demonetized and all that jazz. Heck, when a uh, YouTuber, when, you know, obviously who, who talks about a whole bunch of different like uh, stuff, YouTuber um, the quartering brings this up. This is one thing that me and the quartering actually have in common in the fact that we love MXR plays. Um, but MXR Play is getting banned from YouTube on a third copyright strike from a video they made a year before. And now that YouTube, and then all of a sudden YouTube a year later now wants to strike them for it. It, it like, <clears throat> it, it, it's confusing to me because, okay, a, a lot of, a, a lot of these creators a lot of the bigger creators on YouTube nowadays, they started off, they started off um, with nothing. They made their content and it was good. One thing that YouTube did well back in the day, because I remember when I first uh, ever saw a YouTube, uh, found YouTube, it was on, it was when Back in 2005, 2006, uh, people were <coughs> showing, uh, I, I remember certain people, certain channels had uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! DX play, uh, replays, I guess, <laughs> because, you know, it was kind of hard to find, it was kind of hard to, like, actually watch Yu-Gi-Oh! DX as it was coming out, if uh, depending on where you were. Like, I had just moved to Savannah, and I didn't know what the different channels were. Um, and I was going to school for, uh, uh, at, at SCAD, Savannah College of Art and Design. And, um, you know, a friend of mine <laughs> and, uh, put me on the YouTube. And I watched it. I mean, it, it used to be the most creative place in the world. I'm talking about the had <coughs> um, where some people would, you know, repost episodes of, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, like I said, or Naruto. That's how I actually uh, kept up with Naruto for a good minute before I was able to finally watch it like Cartoon Network when I moved back home. Um, and before Country World was as big as it is. Um... Also, you had people making uh, anime music videos uh, using <gasps> songs of uh, uh, of their favorite artists and mixing them up and wonderfully uh, edited scenes, uh, multiple different scenes of like different animes where you see good action and all that stuff. I mean, I remember there was this one video that. Um, that it did that somebody did with um the Naruto and Sasuke fight from um uh during the Sasuke retrieval arc <coughs> that sounded very similar to uh the original like '90s X Men uh cartoons theme song, like a lot of people kept thinking it, and somebody actually made a different video use that same video but replace the music that they had on that video with the actual X-Men theme song. It was beautifully done too. I mean heck I remember at one point I had Windows XP on my laptop and I found a way to uh, I, I, like I had just gotten into Comrade Decay and I um, made a video uh, using uh, come in, come come on from uh, the Fantastic Four um, soundtrack done by Velvet Revolver, and I mixed it with scenes from Comrade Decay. Now, somebody trying to do that nowadays, it's it's going to be heavily copyrighted by 
toy by the artist that you used and all that stuff because hey they want their money um because youtube has you know youtube went from being this cool place of creativity yeah you're using you're mixing a whole bunch of stuff with uh you're mixing a whole bunch of artists with um a whole bunch of artists in a way you know anime and all that stuff yeah you're doing a whole bunch of stuff that's creative and everything you're mixing things together that you never thought would have actually been mixed together uh in this great creativity create creative style and now ever since it got bought by google it's now just constantly getting worse and worse i mean yes people are making money from it now but it's just creatively getting worse and worse uh it's hard to be creative on youtube in the ways it used to be before all this stuff went down um and effectively like at any given moment anybody could copyright your video like say claim it was theirs i mean there was a couple of times where th there was a few times where that whole situation was being misused by certain people to make loads of money off of other people's hard work other people's editing or other people's uh creative inputs heck even actual like musical artists and all that stuff it was crazy um, and one thing about, you know, all those anime music videos, like I said in the past, was that it was connecting, it was connecting people with songs that they never would have actually, they, they may have never actually have listened to before. I, I mean, shoot, I mean, shoot, it, uh, there are so, I mean, Linkin Park was pretty much. Any Linkin Park song was pretty much tied to any a lot of anime music videos, and if you never listened to Linkin Park before, if you never heard of Linkin Park before, hey, that was, hey, sometimes those anime music videos were, oh my god, you got put on to Linkin Park because of those anime music videos. I remember there was a video when I was in uh, when I was at SCAD about. Uh, they were using uh, a skit from Ludacris's uh, Word of Mouth. I think, I think it was the Word of Mouth uh, CD uh, album. And <laughs> it was the uh, um, teabagging skit, okay? But they used it, and somebody had put it, uh, connected it with uh, a scene from Evangelion, and it was the most hilarious thing because it's like, yeah, you know, the main character of Evangelion is on the phone. Yeah, I can't remember his name for the life of me right now, but he's on the phone. He's on at a uh, telephone, at a payphone. It seems like, and he's talking to somebody, and it's like the whole teabagging skit going down, and it's hilarious. And it was in like a mix of like uh, multiple different like. Um, anime um uh hilarious dubs and all that stuff it was great um but with mxr plays having all the issues that they had i mean yeah we should have saw this coming but it still sucks that it actually happened um uh, and i can't believe it because like i said I've been so focused on the Ava Chris Tyson Mr. B situation right now <clears throat> that it's that it's going absurd. Like because of Ava Chris Tyson, um, a, a, a character, a, a, not a character, but a very infamous artist. Like I, I cannot stress to you enough how infamous this motherfucker is, uh, Shatman. Uh, because of that, he's been brought to the forelight, uh, forefront, sorry, um, uh, 
And because of that, uh, people who are who have been connected to him are now being brought to the f- uh, forefront and all that stuff on Twitter. Uh, Nuxenor had jokingly said that he wanted to collab with him in order to troll him. And yet, somehow, he got connected with that shit. People thought that, like, the Some Ordinary Podcast was actually going, was actually ending because they wanted to restructure it. And somehow, it got connected with Nuxnor. It Because of the timing that they were doing it, people thought that the reason why Some Ordinary Podcast was actually ending is because they couldn't trust Nuxnor. It was nothing like that. Uh, fucking, uh, like I said, Mr. Beast is going down because because of this whole little thing, a former Mr. Beast empl- employee has come out with a video that pretty much is a scathing critical point on some of the things that Mr. Beast, like the, the actual like uh, wrongdoings of Mr. Beast, even though some of it was not like, wasn't that serious the, the bigger ones in that whole little thing were damning to say the least and then you have um because of this whole situation with mr beast and Ava chris tyson you had moist critical going up against sneeko of all people and having a debate with sneeko and if you listen to uh penguin zeros like uh account of it he literally was just like he wasn't expecting it to be like a debate he was just expecting to like talk about these things with Sneeko and Sneeko turned it into a bit debate like he always does and that's where Penguin Zero kind of went wrong uh that's where Charlie kind of went wrong however um because of that uh and because of how he fell for something that Sneeko set him up for. I mean, he set it up for a fail. Even though, you know, I, I can see what he was thinking in his head. And it makes a lot of sense. But at the same time, the way he was going about it, the way he connected it. Oh, God, it was horrible. It was the worst goddamn debate of all time. And because of all of this, we missed all, uh, like, MXR Plays gets banned in the, in the shadow of the night. Like, what the fuck? And, like, YouTube wants to keep, <laughs> YouTube is obviously trying to help Mr. Beast, just like they did with uh, SSS Sniper Wolf. And yeah, I remember back earlier when I really started making uh, putting videos on my YouTube channel. Uh, besides the, the that initial like Conrad Decay music video that I tried to make, um, that I don't even have a copy of it anymore because my old computer, my old laptop died completely, and I don't even think it, it like this is before I even had my like um, before I could put it on my. Um, external hard drive that I've somehow kept a lot kept around for over <laughs> 20 years um but because of that oh this is actually this is not the same USB this is not the same external hard drive I just realized that anyways I forgot what happened to the original external hard drive because it has so much stuff on it anyways <sighs> Uh, but as I said in my old, uh, uh, my fir- one of the first videos I ever made, yeah, I did try to like give SS Sniper Wolf the benefit of the doubt. But at the time, I was also a Darman fan, and I realized that Darman is not is not what I thought he was. Good lord, the stuff I have found out about like some of the more popular creators that I was actually once into. And it has been coming out now. Oh, good lord! And like, it's one thing for me. Like, I, 
I, I've talked about this a couple. I, I, I'm sure I've talked about this a couple of times. Sometimes people do things in their past. I mean, shoot, every single time I keep like, for instance, the Flash. I still, I still feel like everything that happened with uh, uh, Hartley uh, from the Flash. You know, the guy who played uh, the Elongated Man. I still feel like he got slighted in the worst way possible because of shit that he was, he said something in the past and he, he got canceled for it years later. People change over years. I mean, shoot, Donald Trump used to be just Mr. Businessman, Mr. I've got, uh, uh, the, the apprentice. And now he's, uh, a, a presidential kid, uh, uh, a president, former president, gone, trying to uh, get his second term in, and I'll make another video about a whole Project Twenty Twenty Five because that is, oh, not that I want to vote for Kamala Harris, who's pretending to be black in order to get the black vote when she's actually uh, Indian American and not. Uh, 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 American Indian, but an Indian immigrant, the child, the child of an Im Indian immigrant, who, who became president, who, who's become vice president, and is about to be. In. I don't want to vote for her either because of the fact that, uh, obviously, there's going to be more of the immigration crisis going on, and the way they handled, uh, the way Democrats handled the whole defunding the police and. This immigration stuff has been like shitty to say the least, but Project 2025 is also a really bad thing. Getting rid of the Department of Education. Everything that's, uh, 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 like I said, I'm making another video on it, but let's just say that most of the stuff that I've, I've read in Project 2025 is basically the conservative slash Republican uh, version of everything Democrats did. Like defunding the police and then getting rid of the department, defund the police in <laughs> from the Democrats. Conservatives are like let's defund, let's uh get rid of the Department of Education. Not that Democrats did a good job of the Department of Education because good lord, some of the shit that like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about political stuff in another video. I want to talk about MXR plays. This shit. This shit. Like, and, you know, I don't know if this is actually going to get, like, that much traction because, of course, the Mr. Beast stuff is a big thing. I mean, all the commentary channels are talking about it, like, uh, uh, Sensitive Society, uh, Anarchist, uh, a Cheeto, um, so many people are talking about it. Nuxanor, Oompaville, um... Uh, uh, some ordinary gamers, aka uh, Mudahar, they are all talking about it. Good lord! But uh, uh, a YouTuber who, yeah, they they may have said they may have put a, a, a few like questionable stuff, but it's not like they were geared towards kids. You could tell they weren't geared towards kids. They were geared more towards people. My age, you know, people over twenty, over the age of twenty, over the age of eighteen, you know, they're only like what, uh, in their like uh, mid to late twenties at this point, and they lost the whole YouTube thing. Thankfully, they they um, they start moving more content to Patreon, and they have their Patreon. And as soon as I'm financially, like, stable again, I'm going to subscribe to their Patreon again. But the shit that went down, the shit that's gone down with them was, should never have happened. Um, or you having, like, these, uh, corporations that take, like, uh, take random viral videos and then buy it so that they own it and that anybody who tries to, um, use it like uh what was that it was some weird media thing i can't remember what it was called 
they <laughs> they copyright copyright strike the the hell out of uh, MXR plays. Uh, this is back in 2020, and they've been dealing with all this stuff. Uh, Jeannie had her own um, channel, and somehow, just by her putting her YouTube, uh, her YouTube play button, uh, trying to apply for a YouTube play button. Now that she had gotten enough subscribers, somehow it it messed up her channel and messed up MXR plays channel. It's so messed up of what's going on when it comes to YouTube. And it makes me wonder if I should even continue trying to pull this off. Like, what the heck, E2? What the heck? You made it so easy for uh, uh, for uh, scammers to get on this platform constantly over and over again with these ad, uh, your ad, your ads are horrible. It's the reason why, like, it's better to get YouTube Premium instead of dealing with these ads. But if kids are sitting there watching it, kids are going to sit there and look at these ads and automatically assume, oh, yeah, this is a good thing. You got, you were basically, like, mainlining the, the red pill gurus or any guru, really, when it comes to a whole bunch of stuff. And they were pretty much giving in their audience. Um, and then you got rid of them. Which it was a little bit too, too little, too late. In all honesty, you got uh, uh, so many people are going in and out of some of the the places that they supposedly worked for because now YouTube have uh, now YouTube creators are more like a business instead of like just random people being creative on a platform. TikTok. I mean, you added in new things that are similar to TikTok, the shorts, which I completely can't stand. Um, and yet, I have in order for me to like build upon YouTube, I gotta try to start making shorts and get that whole little thing. It, I hate shorts. I really do because it doesn't really give you enough information about what's going on. It just is like a preview of something that's going down, but some people take that preview as the main focus of the whole thing out of context, and they'll only look at the shorts. It doesn't, it, there's so much wrong at this point. And I, 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 don't even get me started on TikTok with some of the stuff I keep finding on TikTok. It's my it's part of it's my fault because of what I followed on TikTok back in the day, but whoo, there's so much drama on YouTube right now. It's crazy, and I'm like, at any given moment, I'm gonna find out that uh, uh somehow YouTube is gonna figure out a way to like get upset with like Auburn Preach for their videos, or get upset with. Penguin Zero or Nuxanor or Mudahar or Oompaville somehow. The rate that this is going on, like, oh, good Lord. I don't, I, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of seeing this. And it, it's really kind of, it kind of gives some of us, you know, low ranking creators, the people who are just starting out, the people who are trying to build a platform on YouTube, less and less motivation, less and less, uh, uh, um, like, it's demoralizing us. You're not going to have as many creators trying to go, go out and do things. You're not going to have as many people who are trying to figure out new ways to make YouTube even better. Oh, wow. This thing is completely completely ripped up. Alright. Yeah, so <laughs> sure. But again, YouTube, you got you, you, you terms of service. Um uh, at this point, the only way for you to actually have a, 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 a get your terms of service like really rolled out and like people I, everybody understands this terms of service is for YouTube 
to actually make a video about their terms of service to really show it off using some of your bigger creators instead of just hey read this because look <laughs> one thing about youtube is they're not trying to push for people to read anymore you know they're not really trying to push anybody to read heck the way like i said with the whole project 2025 it looks like it's not trying to push anybody to learn how to read anymore kids will no longer be able to read they're going to just be focused on what people talk to you about and all that stuff it's not it's not it's not looking good for uh the way things are going i don't know i i, I could continue making a whole bunch of stuff and connecting all this stuff but I, I don't want it to be too long. Uh, it's already gotten like 30 minutes. And I'm not editing the heck out of this video at all. I'm not going to edit anything out. Because, well, this just needs to be put up. Like, I might edit up one scene. I did edit a little. I, I probably did edit this a little bit. But, if you feel like I feel. Like, seeing this. Like, MXR plays getting banned. The whole Mr. Beast situation. With Ava Chris Tyson being the 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 start of this whole world thing and that's not against tra trans i mean shoot our, our, i was reading a vi i was watching a video the other day and if if what was said in that video was said on a twitter in that twitter post or reddit post is true then if chris tyson is not is not trans in the sense that I would actually agree with. She is trans only as a fetish. And that's not cool. That's not cool. And then having a, another trans person just come over just so they, that uh, they can service Ava Chris Tyson? Hell no. Like, this is, this is one thing I've been worried about a whole bunch when it comes to this trans stuff. Is that... You're gonna have a whole. You're gonna have the people who truly believe they are trans, who transition for all the 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 right reasons and all that stuff. All the reasons that trans people are, are, are trans activists supposedly are saying that is the biggest thing, and important, most important thing, and what trans rights should be about. Okay, and then you have the ones who look at it as a fetish because they want to cross dress or they want to do this, and then like. When it comes down to meeting another trans person, that that one trans person is actually like fully in, invested in themselves, and then think they're in a relationship, they might get into a relationship with somebody, and then somehow ends up this other trans is fetishizing trans person, uh, who fetishizes the fact that they transition and all that stuff, only once that other person to perform sexual acts on them no reciprocation that's messed up <sighs> yeah we, we really need to talk about, we really need to get into this whole situation but like I said this is the end of the video uh, I will make another video about the whole Ava Chris Ava Chris Tyson Mr. B situation I'll make a whole nother video about the project 2025 situation because we need to figure that whole thing out I'll make another video about Kamala Harris uh, Kamala Harris and how I feel like Democrats shouldn't actually <laughs> get a vote this year because of the fact that well they didn't do really get much of a good job and they need to re like every single Every single person right now needs to ring shit in. That's how I look at it. Because, I mean, again, I, I've always said I was in the middle, but like I said, that's for another video. I've already made this video way too long because I am so upset about this whole little thing. MXR Plays, you are one of my favorite YouTubers. You're one of the reasons why I still, why I started when I, I when I finally decide I want to make a YouTube video, make a YouTube channel, you're one. Of, you are one of my reasons for being. Like I'm pretty sure I put you in 
I, I've mentioned you in one of my videos, a couple, a couple of my videos at some point. The fact that you guys got banned is bullshit. And like I said, when I get a chance, I'm going to subscribe to your Patreon. I've done it a couple of times, but I'm going to make sure that it's a normal subscription because I want to support you guys. But until then, I'll see you guys later. Have a good day. Peace.